This door? Oh, what? Oh! Well, <laughs> that works too. Just watch the wall fall over, why not? This door's so open. Okay, good. That means I'm protected from the back. I see you. Hello! You're dead. Look at that. He's so good, he don't even gotta hold the clip to put it back in the gun. It's like, I'm alright. I'm too good for that. Oh! oh. You guys could've... This fucker. Wait a not die. There's another one. Get out of here. Let's do that. I love that reload. Okay. Well, that's great. Let's almost die. Let's head up here and do a horrible jump. I hear some knocking. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Put your shotgun down. Well, I'm going to have to be very cautious now. Because I'm about dead. Because of shotguns. That's why I always carry my shotgun. Look, I get off the shotgun and almost die. I was trying to conserve shotgun ammo. Oh my goodness, I can go that way. I'll go this way. <laughs> Look at that. I got a bad feeling I'm going to get shot from behind. No, I'm not because there's nobody there. Let's check this room out. Alright. Shut the door, Max. Okay, you can't shut the door. Check open. You know what? Since it's giving me a buttload of Uzi ammo, I think I'm gonna start using it. Sure. Vinny Gogniti, just the man I've been killing to see. Pain, freaking fed! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squad on us. You can't just come in here waving your peaks like it meant something. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah! You're dead, Pain! Hey? What the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss! Got me bailed. I made like Chow Yun fat. Where you going, buddy? Don't make it out of your life. I lasted a total of two seconds, man. Well, I know that I ain't gotta worry about nobody. I made it for a total of two seconds. Good thing is I can speed it up. I thought. Oh, it just speeds it up. I got you. I have a way to skip it. Just that one. Guys, I'm gonna die again. I'm just letting you go. Shotgun? Let's go with shotgun. Actually, I'm gonna go down here and see if I find some painkillers first. That's a great idea. If I can get some paint. Well. There went that idea. What the hell are you standing around here for? They're bombing us. What are you doing? You're doing I just. Don't you doing? Oh my you goodness, there's two painkillers on the counter. Thank goodness. I can now do this. Walk in, Max. Keep running. Too bad you can't do it, Huh. Huh, huh. Well. How many times are we going to get to watch this? <laughs> I think I'm fucked. I'm actually going to wait in the corner. I think I didn't say because I had no chance. What the fuck do you do? How the fuck? Oh wait, I bet you I can slow the time down. What am I thinking? Slow the time down. As soon as it starts, blow these guys away. What am I thinking? As soon as it starts, I hit that button. I think I have a full bar. Just like that, guys. It's that easy. Why did I not look at that? 
is this Max? A crumpled letter lay on Gagnetti's desk. Check it out, Max. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnetti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. Well, he's scared of his boss. I mean, he's gonna bleed out. There's no way he's gonna survive this. I'm gonna see, he has like a doctor waiting for him over there. I can't go that way. Go through this door back here. Vinny Gagnetti was running scared. Oh, he could shit, run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gagnetti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. You done talking, Max? I hear, well, I can't what you're saying, but you interrupted me, man. Oh, okay. He's gonna die. I don't know what he's thinking. Probably got some man waiting on me. Did he go out the window? No, he must have went upstairs. Huh. Let's go the wrong way. Hey. That was the greatest sound effects I've ever heard. Oh, look at that. Got needy hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Follow oh, his lead? Oh, my goodness. I would just fell. Do I gotta jump on a train? Fussy no one come on. I guess it's I jump on it? Let me just quick save real quick. I'm just gonna save here just in case the screen. Guess I'm jumping. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Come on, train. He said follow his lead, so. As we wait. Max. Didn't make it. Try this again. Do I even gotta go that way? This time I'm gonna try to do the slow motion jump. Right off the end. If I overshoot that train. Yeah! Woo! Yeah, we did it. We did it. Good job, Max. Chapter 7. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. Somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagnetti made his move. Dang! That's some Matrix stuff right there. Can Max do it? What? The exact same thing. That's crazy. Oh, man, there he is. It's amazing how somebody can do that bleeding like that. Well, that's gonna do it. Next time, we will chase this man down, kill him, and maybe map up. I mean, mop up the chapter 7 and beat part 1. Hopefully, we should be getting the end of part 1. But who knows? Well, like I said, that's going to do it for today. We beat two chapters, which is pretty good. But th thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you next time on Max Payne. Peace out.